Hello, welcome to your quick de-stress yoga flow. For this practice, we're going to begin standing at the top of the mat in mountain pose. Bring your feet hip width distance and allow your arms to rest alongside your body. Relax your shoulders and then begin to roll out the neck, finding circles with the head moving slowly in one direction. Continue to root down through your feet lengthening through the legs and the spine. Move the opposite direction now. And then bring your head back to center. From here, take a big breath in through your nose. Open the mouth and exhale the breath out. Again, breathe in deeply, and then exhale, release the breath out. Interlace your hands behind your back, press your palms together, squeezing the shoulder blades, soft bend in the knees, breathing in deeply, and as you breathe out, forward fold, hinge from the hips, belly to thighs, reaching your fists up overhead, and relaxing the crown of your head towards the ground. Keep the weight even between the feet. Take two more breaths. Keep the bend in the knees. Keep the fingers interlaced. Inhale to lift yourself up. Reach the arms up overhead, coming into a chair pose variation. From here, exhale. Cactus arms bending at the elbows, open the heart. Inhale, straighten out the arms, keep the knees bent, and then exhale, cactus. Inhale, arms straight, exhale, lift the heart. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to stand, reach the arms up, straighten the legs, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine, and exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Drop your knees and lower all the way to your belly. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, release. Once more, inhale, baby cobra, keep the elbows hugged in, open the heart. And exhale, release, tuck the toes, push yourself up, coming into downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out through the feet, bending one knee at a time, pressing down evenly through the palms of the hands, relax the head and neck. Breathe into the backside body. And then straighten out both legs, pressing your heels down towards the mat, hips lift up high. Take three breaths here. Root down through your left foot, inhale the right leg high for three-legged dog. Keep your chest and hips facing the mat. And with your next exhale, draw that right knee forward and step the right foot to the top of the mat. Coming into warrior one, back foot spins flat, reaching the arms up overhead, hips and chest face forward. Leaning your upper body back slightly. And then extend the arms out wide into a T, find eagle arms, wrapping the left arm underneath and around the right. Another option here is to simply press the back of the hands together. Squeeze the arms together, lift the elbows up so that they're in line with the shoulders. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, come into a humble warrior variation. So hinge from the hips and lower inside of your right leg, keeping the eagle arms. Hold here, taking two deep breaths, gazing at your back foot.
keeping the arms as they are, inhale back up into warrior one. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, uncross the arms, reaching them up overhead. Exhale, cactus arms, bending at the elbows. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, open up into warrior two, hips, chest, face the left side. Soften into your front knee. Root down through the left outer foot. Flip your front palm, reverse warrior. Breathe into the right side body. And then exhale, extended side angle, right elbow comes on top of the right thigh, left hand will come to your hip. Keep the right knee stacked over right ankle, getting that stretch in your right hip. And then place your right fingertips down, coming into triangle pose, straightening out your right leg. Option to place your right hand on your shin if that's more comfortable. And then lift your left arm up. And another option is to reach your left bicep towards your ear to breathe into the left side body. Release your left hand down, spin on your back toes and fold over your right leg, coming into pyramid pose. Relax your head and neck, breathe into the right leg. Lift your head, come into a low lunge, drop your back knee down, untuck the back toes. Pause here for a moment, keeping the chest lifted. We'll come into a gentle twist. Keep your left hand on the ground, right hand will come on top of the right thigh twisting to the right as you gaze over your right shoulder. Keep pressing your hips down. Now option to stay here, or you can reach your right hand behind you, lift your left toes up and come into a diagonal quad stretch, drawing your left heel closer towards your outer hip, deepening the stretch. Wherever you are, breathe. With control, gently release your left foot back down to the mat. Right hand will come down, framing your front foot. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee. Step back into plank pose. And then lift the hips, downward facing dog. Relaxing the head in between the arms. Pressing your heels down towards the mat. Take two breaths here. Root down through your right foot. Inhale, left leg lifts high, three-legged dog. Take one more breath in. As you breathe out, draw the left foot forward, stepping it to the top of the mat. Coming into warrior one, back foot spins flat, reaching the arms up overhead. Press your hips down, soften into your front knee. One more breath here. And then extend the arms out wide into a T. This time we're going to wrap right arm underneath and around the left arm. Squeeze the arms together, soften into your front knee, and then lift the elbows up so that they're in line with the shoulders. Take a big breath in, lengthen through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, begin to hinge from the hips lower inside of the left leg. Keep pressing the arms together, breathing into the belly.
One more deep breath. On your next inhale, lift yourself back up into warrior one. Untwist the arms, reaching the arms up overhead and then exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, exhale for warrior two, opening up to the right side. Keep the weight even between both legs. Flip your front palm, reverse warrior, leaning your weight back, bringing your left bicep to your ear. Extended side angle, left elbow rests just above the left knee, bringing your right hand to your hip. Keep actively pressing that left knee open to the outer edge of the mat. Gently bring your fingertips down inside of the left foot, straightening out the left leg, or you can bring your left hand to your shin. Coming into triangle pose, reaching the right arm up towards the sky, or you can bring your right bicep towards your ear. Keep pressing your right hip back and breathe. Plant your right hand down, frame your front foot, and then come into pyramid pose as you spin on your back toes. Fold over your left leg. With your next inhale, lift your gaze, bend into your front knee and drop your back knee down. Untuck the toes to come into a grounded low lunge. Keep the heart open, gazing out ahead of you. Right hand will come down inside of your left foot, left hand on top of the left thigh, twisting to the left. Stay here, or you can come into a quad stretch, reaching your left hand behind you, lifting your right foot up, drawing your heel closer towards your outer hip to deepen the stretch. Gently release your foot back down, frame your front leg, lift your knee, step back, downward facing dog. Take two to three breaths here in your downward dog. Drop your knees down to the mat, cross your ankles, and come into staff pose. Rooting down through your sit bones and extending your legs straight out ahead of you. Toes pointed up towards the sky, Lengthen through the spine. Reach the arms out wide and then up overhead, breathing in. As you breathe out, slowly hinge from the hips, draw your belly towards your thighs, reaching your hands either for your feet, your ankles, or your shins. Try to maintain a straight spine, keeping your head lifted for a moment. And then with your next exhale, fold forward, rounding through the spine and relaxing the head down. Breathing into the backside body. As you inhale, slowly lift yourself up. Come into butterfly pose, drawing the soles of the feet together and opening the knees out wide. Wrap your hands around your ankles or the tops of your feet, lengthen through the spine, soften the shoulders. As you exhale, forward fold. You can relax the arms in front of you or gently press the elbows against the inner thighs to deepen the stretch in the hips. Relax the muscles in your face, soften your jaw.
on your next inhale, slowly lift the head and your upper body. Cross the legs and come into a comfortable seat. Rest your hands on your thighs and close your eyes. Take a moment to tune into your physical body. Notice what's present for you. Notice how you feel energetically. And notice this sense of peace, this sense of calmness that you've cultivated within yourself. And know that you always have the power to return to this place of stillness. No matter what is happening around you throughout the day, you can always return to yourself within. Coming back to your breath, and coming back to your body. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale, release the breath out. Again, breathe deeply in through the nose and then open the mouth, release the breath out, let it all go. Reach your arms out wide, up overhead, palms touch. As you exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Bowing the head with gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you in the next class soon.